No. It's fucking smoking. It's smoking. So here we have something interesting. A really large battery for a big move. And um, I think it's for, um, uh, for a grass cutter, grass mover. It's a, the voltage is between 24 and 30 volts. And he thinks there's something wrong in it. And a new one, I don't know if just a battery or a new grass cutter cost uh, 1,500 euros. I don't think it knows the battery or the whole machine, but they can be pretty expensive. And here, do you recognize this connector? Yeah, it's a Bionex connector, but it's not a Bionex battery, but it's a BMZ battery. The ones who make Bionex batteries decided to use that connector on this pack as well. And here you have a huge QR code. Like see how many dots and it has been very well used. I don't think those stickers come in brown. 26.4 volts. Why the fuck go with something standard? 15 ampere hours. Charge volt is 28.8 volts. Is this like 7S light before or something? It would be very interesting to open up and we have a big hole over there. We hope it's the cells that is bad because you cannot possibly do anything with the Bionest battery if the electronics is defect. Yeah, let's check the show. What the fuck? Um, I think maybe this one is built into um, the grass cutter. I'm, sh I'm sure it's called something fancier in English, but I'm calling it the grass cutter. Uh, I'm sure it's connected to the grass cutter. And he has inputs this in an outlet. Or this might be built into the charging station. That's why it's unscrewed. But we have output 30 volt. Yeah, maybe because Bionex especially didn't have uh, chargers. They had adapters and the chargers is built into the batteries. It might be a 30 volt 10.7 amp adapter. Does it say it's a charger anywhere? No. This is made by Meanwell in Thailand. No, Taiwan, sorry. <laughs> Whoever heard of anything made in Th Thailand except diseases. Sorry, that was a bad joke. So no, I think this case is kind of genius because I seldom see this. I'm gonna show you in a second if you can get this one open. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> it's life before and it's severely water damaged. And uh, let, let us start with why I think this case is genius. Uh, not genius, but it's smart. Usually smarter than Bionex usually does because these pieces are identical. They just flip them over and that's why they have the screw holes on different sides. So you just have to make one plastic mold injection and um, you get two identical pieces that fit together. I don't think I've seen that on e-bike batteries, rather I've seen that they make two quite similar stuff, but different mold injection. This is re really smart, you save a lot of money uh, by making these, um, these parts identical. So let, let's start with the mess. I'm pretty sure this has been opened. They do really not use uh, black tape and buy on well well they do but not this kind this is the one you usually buy in sweden from tessa what the fuck <laughs> oh, they didn't even fill this up but really beautiful uh, copper plates really beautiful and <laughs> it's it's one two three four five six seven eight 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 s so it's a 24 volt battery and the electronics is dipped in silicone. So there's a pretty big chance that um, we can work with this. Here is some severe water damage. Not severe, but you can see there has been water here damaging the plates, but I can't 
the cells does not seem to be damaged and there is definitely room for another row because these are custom made to be 8s no 8p oh no oh no did you not just drop the electronics in um, silicone or something even harder the whole battery pack is encased in like several millimeters of some kind of silicone in the bottom <sighs> Hopefully there is tape on the other side so that the cells are not uh, actually sticking to the silicone but the tape is then we can actually remove them and it has two large pins plus two small pins so not the standard uh, all pin used as in Bionex so let's check the actual voltage 23.2 I will measure 6.6 6 6.6 6.6 6 .6. There, 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 there is the problem Two cell groups are just 3.3, .3, so one of them is dead I'm guessing this last one uh, But we won't take it apart even more um, until he gives us the go ahead and we will give him a quote for 8 times 6 like for 4 cells I can't see any water damage on the PCB let's just check if we have anything over here yeah it has slightly lower than the full voltage let's check nothing really thick oh, like half a millimeter or something but why did this <laughs> this grass cutter is not like running 500 amps or something it's running like 10 or 20 but still very well very well very 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 cool battery pack that we never seen oh this is no longer such a good looking battery it's uh, it's beginning to look fucking ugly. <laughs> yeah, well, removing this one is fairly difficult. Well, of course, the GoPro died just as this was getting interesting. Well, we wanted to remove the three lost cells, which were the damaged ones, but it didn't let us do that. Uh, everything was so so much adhesive to the bottom plate, so when we bent, we were thinking we could uh, remove the whole battery. And they just removed the last block, but th this one just whoop! And we had to remove that as well. And here we almost get a short circuit because they're using this very strong adhesive that damages the heat shrink tubing. Uh, so we have to be very careful. And um, instead of buying six new cells, we have to buy uh, 12 new cells. And hopefully the water damage will end around here and because we know all of these cells have the proper voltage yeah that's about it it's a very ugly pack we will probably not accept it again uh, it's yes so 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 overcomplicated so but this is it we have these cells we're gonna take apart and test because uh, we like one eight eight two trees uh, half of them are probably dead half of them are okay but just look at the water damage here it's no fun. No fun! Just look at all the damage to these cells. It's so ugly. And it's a good thing we also removed the D6. They are not as water damaged, but uh, I, I don't think they would have lasted for long. We quoted the customer for a full repair, an upgrade, or just removing six cells. He chose the cheapest option and um, it will probably last as long as it doesn't get more water into the battery. So here is uh, the Robo Mover or a uh, robot, uh, robot um, grass cutter machine that we got in during, uh, during Christmas. And we were su <laughs> supposed to replace only six cells 
uh, but we had to remove 12 cells to be able to connect to this plate because it's all glued together. But during the Christmas and New Year's weekend, these two cell blocks, blocks have died. Even more have died. So uh, the customer has agreed for us to repair everything, all the cells. But we have to make sure the electronics is working. And uh, so it's not the actual electronics that is killing the cells. Uh, the first part is to see if the electronics actually is draining the cells. Then we disconnect the electronics and see if the cells keep draining. And then we know it's actually the cells that are dying and not the electronics. But I suspect it might be the electronics so installing new cells would be silly. So let's measure the first group, 1766. 1.766.0771.0771. This is one of the completely dead cell groups. That one is dead as well. Is this one dead also? Here we have 3.3 volts yeah so this one is also dead three three two zero three two zero now we'll let this battery rest for maybe 24 hours and see if these cell groups go down uh, most likely this one is not affected but most likely if these two will go down we will have to assume the BMS is faulty and then we will not order new cells. Uh, it's drenched in silicone, but somehow maybe something has been damaged in the BMS. So today we're gonna be continuing with this battery pack. We washed our cluster fuck. Uh, we wanted to repair it. Uh, there was some water damage on the last two cell groups or the last one cell group. And the cells were fine, but when we removed this, we noticed that these two, these three cell groups have died. And also this one is in very poor condition. This, this one is almost okay, and this one is okay. Uh, this customer has been extremely patient and not hassled us at all. Um, this is for a grass robot, grass cutter machine, self-going thingy. And there's not much grass to cut in the winter here. Unless you have an indoor golf course or something. So it's been very patient. So today I'm going to check how this battery is doing. And also test if the BMS is doing this or if the cells are dying on their own. So let's see if we get like 4 volts. Oh, 5.6. So I don't think some... And let's see how do we check this. 1.5. So yeah, they... These have degraded a little, little. Oh, <laughs> 0 0.5, they have degraded a little. This zero bunch we won't talk about. And let's see, 3.3. So these are actually fine, but they are disconnected from the BMS. I think by accident when we remove the nickel. So I think we're dealing with a defective BMS which might have been defective because of the water damage. Uh, let's see that we have all the wires here. Mm -hmm. They're going in the correct order and the next one should be green and black. Red on positive, black on negative. And remove it, I, 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 I won't even go into, that, go into that. There should be another EST on the other side. Yes. Yeah. We don't need the wires as long, so we can just cut them anywhere. So now we separated this hunk of crap, and I built this one uh, with the cells I thought I was gonna be replacing. We need to replace all the cells, but this will be our tester. Instead of building a gigantic, time-consuming, large battery pack, and then seeing it die in front of your eyes, that's no fun. So we're gonna test it out with this. It will all actually fit pretty good. Pretty. And yeah, this is the positive side, right? On A123's I123. 
I123. Let's just check that we have about 24 volts. So that these cells are good, 26 volt, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's the positive one. I can hold this, it's not even close to hot. If the BMS is eating up the cells, it will do that by uh, the resistors balancing them, overbalancing them, and it will get pretty hot. So we can also measure if it does that. Walk, walk, walk. Come on. A positive. Next one is brown. Not Yale, but brown. And much solder, solder, and mini greeny, black, yeah, heat up, come on, There is something smelling. I don't know if the BMS is doing anything. Start with white. Next is blue. Yellow for I have no clue. And another red one. Why not? So now everything is connected and we can start measuring and then we're gonna let the best. No! It's fucking smoking! It's smoking! It's smoking. It's a defective. BM said fucking BMS under that silicone. Yeah, poor little cells. I sorry. Sorry I did that to ya. And I'm gonna cut that one off. Has it stopped smoking? Yes, it has stopped smoking, it stopped being hot. A piece of crap you said BMS. That starts actually smoking. <laughs> yeah, be, be very aware of, well of BM said and her crappy batteries. Eesh. Yeah, we can't we can't do a repair unless it comes in and we can change the BMS. I don't think it will accept any 24 volt BMS because they have these connections. Anyway, we can tell the customer if he wants this thing back the charger we can send to him for free because we learned something uh, anyway thanks for the patience and no everything cannot be repaired